I'm Montgomery Lambsbottom here at Wembley ahead of the Carabao Cup final between Manchester United and Aston Villa. Now the last time these two teams met in a final, the ref forgot to send off Vidic in a blatant red card scenario. A situation which Villa fans are still annoyed about to this day. Now we are joined by the United manager Ozzy Villan. And Ozzy, what can you tell us ahead of kickoff? Yeah, look, mate, I mean, it was a disgrace if Vidic wasn't sent off that day. You know, Villa would have been 1-0 up early against 10 men. You know, they go on, they win that final. They're in Europe the next year. Martin O'Neill doesn't leave at the start of that following season. And, you know, who knows where the club goes from there. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to our England players only Manchester United. Today it is episode 11. We are suited and booted for the Carabao Cup final against Aston Villa at Wembley of course. And then it is a Manchester derby. We host Manchester City in a game that if we are any chance of winning the league, we have to win basically. And uh, it'll be a good game. It should be a big game as well. Uh, now, there is one little piece of news to catch you up on. I'm not sure the best way to show you this other than to maybe go inbox and news. And we can see that Tuchel has been sacked by Chelsea. So there will be a new Chelsea manager. I mean, it's hardly a surprise if we go and have a look at competitions as a bit of a refresher. Chelsea are down there in 13th, which is just unbelievable, isn't it, for them, really. So that is uh, that has happened. There'll be a new manager going in there. and it could, Will it be Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Possibly not, but we'll see what happens. And I mean, between the two games today, we have the RFA Cup fourth round tie against uh, against Huddersfield. I'll show you the highlights of that. And then, as I said, we'll be back to play Manchester City. And you can see we are currently four points off top. City and Liverpool are, are joint top right now. So if we're going to win, if we have any chance of winning the league, we have to go and beat them. But let's have a look and see what we're doing. Not waste any time and see what we're doing here in this final against Aston Villa. They're fifth in the league. They are no mugs. And they are, we are expecting a 4-2-3-1 formation from them. And this is the team that we're sending out. We're going as full strength as we can. Uh, we've got a few players that are on the tighter side of things. I think what we might do... Ramsey against his former team. That's probably a, a, a fairy tale thing there if we need it. So it's Henderson in goal. It's Shaw, Tamori, Maguire, and Juan Basaka as the back four. It's Cook, Bellingham, and Winks in midfield. We're going to try Sancho as a right sided winger. He is right footed. We'll give him a chance. Edwards will be down the left hand side. Harry Kane, of course, will be up top for us. It's a bench of Heaton, Holgate, Taylor, Mengi, Vieira, Rams, Ramsey, uh, Greenwood, Mavadidi, and Andy Carroll if we need a big target man up top. So let's see if we can go win our first trophy at the club. All right, so we can see the uh, the team sheets there. It's a strong-looking Aston Villa side, but it's kind of fancy, I think, wouldn't you, to be able to go and, uh, and get the job done here? I think what we want to do, given that it is a final, is just go out there, stick to the plan, we'll be fine. Now, when we've played Aston Villa this season, they beat us at their place in the league, albeit that was very much a rotated side. So yeah, let's let's hope that uh, that we can do this. They are they. I mean, as I said they're a good side. They're coming fifth. Lampard is the manager, and I mean we're not in bad form ourselves. We had I can't remember if I mentioned this. We have come straight back from last episode where, of course, it was AC Milan in uh, in the Champions League. So there was nothing to wait for. It was, so we've just come straight back. We have very very hectic fixtures just now. So trying to put out a strong team here, and then we'll need a strong team for the Manchester City game as well. That essentially means the Huddersfield game. They're a struggling championship side. It'll be heavy rotation in that one, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Ultimately, we just want to win this final. So, not much happening so far. It's a typical final, isn't it? Lewis Cook's not having a great game. Let's maybe try a demand more. We'd have to be we'd have to be considered favourites, you would think, just judging off of the league positions. But yeah, I mean that's not been a classic, has it? We've been out xG there as well. So I think we'll have to say uh, if we're not going to yeah if we're not going to if we're not going to win oh we are not going to we're not going to shoot yeah. So I mean that's basically it, isn't it? I mean if we're not going to have ch take chances or even have chances, we can't take what we don't create. So. Let's do that. Is there anything we want to change here tactically? Now, they are a vertical ticky tack aside. I'm wondering if maybe we look to exploit the flanks, try and get some wide players involved. It might be a case of do we need to 
lower our tempo. Are they sitting back a little bit? We've got a highlight. Luke Shaw with a throw. Cook back to Shaw. Winks. Ball in there for Marcus Edwards. He sort of turned the wrong way. Get trying to get onto his left foot. Consa takes it off him. And are we going to end up going the other way here? We're putting decent pressure on them high up the pitch. There's the ball forward. And there is no one there for Villa. Maguire brings it down. And let's see if we can we can get something going here. There we are exploiting the wide areas. Ball back for Sancho. He's on his right foot. Can he whip the cross in? Where's Harry Kane? He's there. It's beyond him. It's headed away. And it's going to be picked up by Shaw. It's a bit of a long old highlight, this one. Bellingham. Ball. Oh, it's a wonderful ball for Jaden Sancho. And he's hit the post. What a pass from Jude Bellingham. As a Birmingham City uh, <laughs> youngster, he'll be very determined to win this, won't he? But we won't hold that against Jude. Come on, Bellingham. Ball forward. Oh, Sancho can't quite win it. Here comes Ollie Watkins. One Basaka lunges in on a booking, but he wins it. There's another ball for Sancho. He has a second chance. Oh, and he's missed that one as well. He hasn't missed it. Martinez has saved it. But we definitely look better exploiting the wide areas, don't we? Now, one thing I'm wondering if we could do is look to uh, look to maybe put another player up there with Harry Kane, whether that be a number 10 or whether that be a second striker. We're in a little bit of trouble here, though, as Leon Bailey gets in behind. And was that a save? It was Hendo with a big save for us. Now we've got a corner to defend. When Dio knocks it in, it is well claimed by Henderson. Sancho had a little bit of space there, but let's tell him to focus. What we don't want is nervous players in midfield, and that's exactly what we've got right now. 20 minutes to play. I mean, it's a it's a game that looks destined for penalties, doesn't it? Oh, another good save from Henderson. Bailey's starting to look dangerous, isn't he? Um, let's try a demand more. Winks is apprehensive. We've got Ronaldo Vieira. We might need to make changes here because a, a nervous player is a crap player as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's have a think about this. Okay, so we're making one sub. We're bringing Ronaldo Vieira on for Lewis Cook, who's nervous, not playing particularly well. Now, Edwards, Sancho, neither of that. You know what we might do? Let's take Edwards off and let's go back to something that has worked for us previously maybe having two out and out wingers has not quite worked but what we are going to do is to try and get Kane involved we're not going to pass into space anymore and we're just going to lower the tempo and you know maybe we're just rushing passes a bit and if we have nervous players that may well be the case you know nervous players misplacing passes but nil nil it is at full time we're going to extra time and we're going to say do we say unlucky You've done nothing wrong. I mean, you haven't conceded. A, you, haven't, you haven't created a chance, but you haven't conceded a goal either. Sancho's had two good chances and not taken either of them. So let's pump our fists, get back out there, and see if we can we can go and get this job done. Short over a free kick in to the next Harry Kane, and it's a good save again. Is it by Martinez? No, it's hit the post. It's even more unlucky. Now we've got some defending to do. Ball in. Kane is there. It's off the line, is it? Sancho picks it up. Can he go up the other end now? Fredericks faces him up. Does a good job. Vieira. And that ends the highlight. We've got some very, very tired players. We've demanded more. We've got a highlight. Do we take Sancho off for Mavadidi, who can play in that almost exact role? Greenwood, Bellingham, Kane. Back to Bellingham. Winks. Oh, come on. I mean, what we don't need at this time of the season is this extra time as well. I mean, that's just going to absolutely knacker the legs for these guys. Winks, can he do something worthwhile? You can see the slower build-up play. There's a good ball. There's Greenwood on side. He's got a big chance. He's stuck it in the back of the net. I'm not convinced he was on side. No doubt it'll be checked by VAR. But I think he may have gone early. Yeah. Oh. Unlucky. All right, Sancho, you're absolutely knackered as well. So let's bring Mavadidi on for you. Only just, wasn't it? it did, he did look slightly off, I've got to say. Let's encourage them. Oh, it's half time and extra time, so we can't do that. And we're getting to the point now where we might need to start looking at who can take a penalty for us. 
So let's do that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is sub the sub, unfortunately. So that's the end of uh, of Vieira. He goes off. Uh, Carroll's going to come on. He's a decent penalty taker. We're going to go with the two up top for the last few minutes here. Do we have another sub that we could make just for fresh legs as much as anything else? Uh, not that that's what we'd want to do. We do have that. Uh, I don't know that we want to change too much, though. Defensively, the games that they're playing aren't too bad. Let's give it a focus. And we've got defending to do. Are we going to have late, late heartbreak here? Can Mavadidi win that back? It's one, but sucker. Oh, it's knocked down Oli Watkins. Oh, he's missed a sitter. That should have been the game, but we're still going here. Konza over a free kick. Can we win this back? Winks, can you get a foot in? Not quite. Come on. There's a crossfield ball. One Basaka is there. He's got a ball down the line. He uses it. He finds Greenwood. Greenwood forward there for Andy Carroll. Carroll with a crossfield ball. Kane, we need that the other way around, didn't we? So Carroll to get the flick on. And here comes Bailey. Tamori brings him down. That's okay. <laughs> and it looks as though it's going to be penalties. We got to the final, of course, beating Manchester City on penalties. And it looks like if we are going to win it, although it's not done yet, and Louise has a lot of time and he waits for Bellingham to close him down, but that's it. It is going to penalties. All right, so I think, yeah, stay calm, back yourselves, we'll be fine. That is possibly just all you need to say, isn't it? And anxious ahead of the penalty shootout. So the players that are anxious aren't on the field, so that's fine. Displaying little emotion. Yeah, so everybody looks fine. Okay. Can Henderson get us off to a classic start here? It's Ings to take the first one for Villa. Oh, he's gone the right way and he hasn't stopped it. Hey, how has he not stopped it? Harry Kane now against Martinez. Now, Martinez has made some cracking saves against us already this season. Not there, though. Harry Kane ties it up at one. There is obviously a big disadvantage we have here. The team going second is not have the greatest record. Diaz Squalatata is going to take one for Villa. He's a new signing, and he's put that away. Who's up next? Jude Bellingham, the Birmingham boy. Oh, he'll be getting booze from the Villa fans, won't he? Can Jude stick this away? Oh, no, he cannot. And suddenly, we are in very, very big trouble. David Luiz scores 3-1. Villa are ahead now. Harry Winks, he has to score, doesn't he? I mean, if he doesn't score this, it's as good as gone. And that is a very, very good penalty from Harry Winks. But Henderson, does he have to save this? No, he doesn't have to save it. But it would be very nice if he could. Leon Bailey to take. Oh, he's chipped it straight into Henderson's hands. And we're going to have a chance to tie it up. And it's Andy Carroll. We brought him on to take a penalty. And he can get us back to 3-3 here. Come on, Andy. He does. And suddenly it's... Well, the momentum is back our way. Henderson to face Ollie Watkins now. Go on, Ollie. Have a miss, mate. He missed a sitter, didn't he? In the 90 minutes, I think it was. Oh, but he's tucked that away. And all the pressure now falls onto the shoulders of... Who is it that's going to take it? It's Mason Greenwood stepping forward. Had the offside goal, of course. Oh, how we wish he'd held his run. And it's up to Big Mace here to try and keep this shootout alive. He's up against Martinez. Mason Greenwood. Straight down the middle. And it's tied at four after five. Ashley Young steps up now. Not seen him take too many penalties. Oh, and Henderson makes another save. They would have faced each other at Manchester United training. That'll be the narrative, won't it? And now we have a chance to win it. And the chance will fall to... Is it Mavadidi? Who's coming forward? That is Mavadidi. Get out of his way, Greenwood. And it's my special my special project. Steffi Mavadidi. Or is that Stevie Mavadidi? He's doing the marathon run-up. Stick it away, Mava. Mavadidi does it, and we've won the Carabao Cup. Excellent stuff. It's a bit of a, bit of a uh, sweet, uh, sweet, what's the word? A bit of sweet, that's the word. <laughs> Obviously beating my team of Aston Villa in the final, but Harry Maguire goes up, shakes the hand of, is that me? Not with that colour hair, it's not. 
So we've won a first trophy. All England, Manchester United are the champions of the Carabao Cup. Hooray! And it's, well, it's a good day, isn't it? It doesn't look right. Those colour streamers coming down, though. Well done, mate. Muth the app. Yeah, you know, mate, obviously I'm happy. Um, but we were well below our best today. Well below our best. But, uh, you know, we got there in the end. We owe Hendo for some big saves in the shootout. Feel a little bit sorry for Villa, if I'm honest. They probably, yeah, only Watkins had a chance there, didn't he? But, uh, you know, we've got there in the end. So we'll celebrate tonight. And I think we'll send Jaden Sancho off as the finishing training in the morning. So we did it the hard way, but I suppose the important thing is we did do it. But, I mean, Aston Villa will consider themselves very, very unlucky in that one. And, to be fair, probably rightly so. But we've worked hard for it, guys. We've got across the line, and fantastic. So, yeah, not our best performance, but there we go. Manchester United have won the EFL Cup. We've got 100 grand in the bank. That'll pay a little bit of somebody's wages. I am one of the top men. It does not take much, does it, to get up there as an Australian manager. Maybe Ange Postacoglu at Celtic can do a little bit of that for uh, for next season. But anyway, it stays in Manchester, but this time it's on the red side. And, of course, we did beat City to get there, didn't we? So I think over the course of the, the Carabao Cup campaign, I would say that we deserve it, but... Yeah, not the most convincing final. But guys, there we go. One trophy's in the cabinet. Wait right there. We'll be back to space Manchester City and see if we can keep our title chase alive. Okay, welcome back. We're getting ready to face Manchester City in the Manchester Derby, of course. But before that, we need to catch up on some FA Cup action. We were away to uh, Huddersfield in the fourth round. Fifth, fourth round? Fifth round. Fifth round. So let's see how that went. Ruben Loftus cheek gave us an early lead before Lingard picked out Shola short tyre to seal the tie. So two early goals got the job done for us. What a pass it was by Jesse Lingard to find short tyre and a good finish as well. And yeah, it was fairly comfortable, to be honest. They, they didn't really threaten us too badly. And as you can see, a very rotated side as well to uh, to keep players fresh for this game coming up here against Manchester City. Now, in the next round, we have a die against a die, a tie even against Arsenal. If you want to see the rest of the quarterfinal games, we are at home. If we get past Arsenal, I mean, you imagine Liverpool will get past Bournemouth. Of course, if we get past Arsenal, we're back at Wembley, aren't we? I still think the danger side here may well be Chelsea with a new manager. Uh, but yeah, it's not the easiest tie and it, there's still a couple of big teams left in there as well. But this is all about keeping our title chances alive against Manchester City. It's a defensive 4-3-3 that we're expecting to come up against. And of course, last time we played them, it was 3-1 in the Carabao Cup. And we managed to then go on and win the shootout. And as we've just seen, win the cup as well. But this is the team we're sending out. It's Henderson in goal. Short, Tomori, Maguire and Juan Basaka as the back four. You can see there are some tied legs here. We're going to hope that that is okay. That's only Manchester City, isn't it? You don't need tied legs. I mean, you don't need your legs against them. Who runs? Uh, it's Cook, Winks and Bellingham in midfield. Sancho and Edwards as the wingers. Kane goes up top. And, uh, well, Kane's fresh. He's about the only one, though. Okay, so we can see the team sheets, and it looks as though it's fairly much their strongest side, doesn't it? Looking at the bench, I mean, you can make an argument maybe Foden goes in there, but yeah, more or less that's their strongest side. And I think, come on everybody, I know you all want to beat your rivals as much as I do. Let's try fist pumping for that. We've got a lot of aggression, which maybe isn't ideal. Just calm it down a little bit, boys. We, uh... We don't need any red cards here. They're hard enough to beat with 11 men, so we need all of those. And here it is, Manchester Derby time. Uh, yeah, I, I was tempted to maybe not have quite so many tied legs in there, but ultimately I've gone with our best side. Now, City lost last time out. You can see there, that was against Arsenal. Now, Arsenal, we know they're a, a decent side. You can see there, they're in the top four. So it's not the, the worst loss for them, but... I mean, we can already see Liverpool's won today in this or this match uh, this match day. So we have to win. If we don't win this, it's title chances over. Um, but hopefully, we can get an early goal here. Shaw with the ball towards the back post. Sancho will go and pick that up. Can he get a second ball in? Kane's lurking. He goes short for Winks. Ed Bellingham, Ed Giro. Bellingham, come on, Bellingham. Oh, he goes back to Cook. It's patient, which is fine. We've kept possession. One Basaka has a little bit of space. Can he get the cross in? He goes back for Bellingham. Cook thought about making a run, but uh, probably wisely kept his uh, place in the team. Oh! Sancho, Sancho, Sancho. What have you got to do to score a goal? 
For the third time this episode, we have seen Jaden Sancho in almost an identical position and push it across the goalkeeper. And I'd say we could play Greenwood out there, but he's... <laughs> I mean, well, at least he finished his chance, I suppose. He was just offside, wasn't he? There is a lot of aggression in our team, which I suppose is a good thing until somebody lunges in two-footed from five yards away. But we've had the better of the game so far, which is obviously a good thing. Mendy must be on parole for the weekend, is he? Is why he's able to play. And that is a... Are we going to see a goal this episode that doesn't come in a penalty shootout? That's uh, beginning to become the problem here, isn't it? What do we say to this? We can. Uh, I'm proud of everyone's effort so far. Keep going, you can win this. We've. I mean, we've been the better side, as I say. So it's not unreasonable to think we could do this. Harry Kane's just going through a little bit of a patch of... Uh, of not playing particularly well. And he was the fresh one too, which is even more concerning. All right, do we need to change something tactically? Let's uh, let's try that and see if it helps us at all. Harry Winks is going through a bout of nerves as well, apparently, which again, not ideal. And we've got a highlight. Winks with a decent tackle, but it only falls for Fernandinho again. Don't you do it, Grealish. Don't you do it. Goes back in there. Get Sanso get to that. No, he can't. Kane, can he get to that? No, we, we look passive. We look too passive. Go and get... I don't want to say get stuck in because we'll just end up with aggressive players getting stuck in. I think there'll be an assault. Oh, Jesus. Just over the top. We'll say Henderson had it covered. Shaw picks it off. And let's see what he can do. Can he thread a ball through? Marcus Edwards. Crossfield pass looking for Sancho. Sancho brings it down. Can he pick out a teammate? We've got so many red shirts in the box. Back for Cook. Cook to Bellingham. Bellingham back to Juan Basaka. Cook has a go. He's hit the post. Oh, that is so unlucky for Lewis Cook. I think it would be a first goal for the club. Shaw with a free kick in the corner. Oh, and Tamori. He heads it over the bar. The game is coming to life late on. Maguire picks it off. Bellingham wide for Sancho. Can Sancho get a cross in for us? Sancho, he can't beat Benjamin Mendy. Oh, he's going to get off, so to speak. <laughs> I think that's why he's in court. Isn't that why he's in jail in the first place? Stop getting off publicly, Mendy. At least there's not a woman involved this time, I suppose. And there he is. And uh, we'll end that there before I get myself in trouble. All right, we've got another free kick from almost the same area. We saw Tamori go close. Edwards isn't having a good game. We maybe need to get him off the field. Oh, Tamori's hit the post. It's still there. Sancho, back to Cook. No, he goes to Tamori to Cook. To Bellingham. Bellingham gets it wide for sure to Bellingham. And that is the end of that highlight. All right, let's make changes. Okay, so we've made two subs. We're taking off Kane and Edwards. I can't believe I've done this. We're... <laughs> Andy Carroll and Mason Greenwood, uh, Sancho switching wings, and I'm just hoping Carroll can kind of bring everybody into play for us. Maybe he should be on support, actually, just to try and, and hold up the ball. And hopefully, yeah, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with Harry Kane. He's just going through a bit of a spell, I think. But we're up against 10 men. There's an argument to say we could have been a little bit more ambitious and maybe gone Carroll next to Kane. We do still have Mavadidi. Maybe we take Cook off and and stick the two up there. Sancho with the ball forward. It's Greenwood on side this time. He's taken it well. The linesman is staying still, but I think it's going to stand. We'll go back to positive, and I think it's going to stand. It's a goal. It's fantastic. It's a wonderful ball forward. It was well read there. Shaw with the knockdown for Sancho. One touch forward. I'm not convinced Greenwood's on side, but he's put it past Edison. It is 1-0, and the title challenge might still very much be alive here. Um, all right, I'm looking at Juan Basaka, and he looks as though he is about to pass out from exhaustion. So let's get Isaac Hayden on for him. That will be ourselves. We don't need to worry about being more attacking at this point, because we've already got the goal. And in the 89th minute, let's put pressure on them. We're doing that. Carroll, token effort. Like to see it, Andy. Oh, Thought he could get a, get a stud in there or something. Ball forward. Tamori is there. Greenwood does well. He leaves Bernardo Silva on the ground. Hayden finds him. And can he get a cross in here now? And can we go and win this? Andy Carroll, he's there. But it is claimed by Edison. 
just near. Oh, the highlight continues. Tamori there knocks it down. Oh, what is Cook doing? Cook, you've got to go and get that, mate. Don't. Oh, it, it's okay. It's high, wide, and not so handsome. Focus, boys. Focus, focus, focus. We're into stoppage time. Let's start and wind this thing down. Uh, we'll lower that down a little bit further. I mean, we maybe could keep counter-pressing, given we have the man advantage. But we just need to see the game through now. And there it is. We've beaten Manchester City yet again. Two times in a row now. And that does just keep a little bit of interest in the title race, doesn't it? So there we go. We can see the other results. And we are one point back of City, four points back of Liverpool. And this sets next episode up perfectly because we are facing Liverpool. Sure, actually had a good game, didn't he? Which is good because he's on a quarter of a million pounds a week right now. So well done, Luke Shaw. But yeah, that's going to set up next episode perfectly because we are going to Anfield. And again, we need to win to keep our title hopes alive. And then we'll be going to Milan. We're 2-0 up from the first leg. Hopefully, we're going to find ourselves getting uh, into the quarterfinals of that competition. And we will hopefully also be able to find out who we've got next at the end of that episode, assuming we get through. So if you've enjoyed that, guys, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. A trophy and a derby day with victory. That's not a bad afternoon's work, is it? Take care.